no doubt that COVID-19 changed the world. I mean, affected countries implemented measures such as social distancing, lockdown, and home confinement. And although these measures significantly prevented the spread of COVID-19, honestly, it changed our lives from working from home and having the lack of connection between friends and family. I mean, let's not get it twisted here. We became bored, isolated, and honestly, it really affected our psychological health. And most people found hobbies, but just to keep them sane. But what if your hobby could turn into something much bigger, much greater than that? Maybe a business. And that's exactly what Chef Snow's story is. I mean, she too was homebound, but she found joy in pleasing her family through food. I mean, one thing led to another, posting photos, posting videos of dishes that she created, and one thing led to another. And now she's here, right here in Prattville, Alabama. Soul food is down-home cooking that's been passed down through many generations, with its roots originating in the rural South. The staples of soul food include pork chops and chicken, usually fried of course, mac and cheese, fried okra, baked beans, cold slaw, hush puppies, fried fish, and many more. Soul food is associated with comfort and decadence, and here at Soul Revival Cookhouse, your soul will taste something just a little different. My theme is elevating soul food one bite at a time, right? And with that is having your soul food, but giving a little twist to it, more powerful flavors to where you really don't need salt and pepper for your food. So with elevating soul food one bite at a time, I also wanted to elevate the decor as well. I didn't want that kind of boring look with like the dark walls. I want it to be bright and inviting. When you look around, you see soul food, you see where my roots come from, you see my grandmothers on the wall, you see me on the wall, you see pictures of my food on the wall. And also when you think of soul food, you think of Motown, you think of music, you know, what comes along with cooking in the kitchen, music. Of course, during the pandemic, we couldn't go anywhere. No more Friday night date night at our favorite restaurant. But that didn't stop Chef Snow. She brought the restaurant right to our homes, from private catering for dinner, small gatherings, small parties, and even weddings. She gained so much success from this to the point where she opened her own restaurant. And of course, her catering customers followed. Miss Nevis had catered for our Christmas party at um, the office, and it was just amazing food. Everything was delicious, and I don't think anybody ate as much as they did that day. So um, today we decided to come and try it for lunch. And I had the hamburger, which um, was really, really good. Um, you know, hamburgers are good, but this one was just right. It was just the right amount of moisture. Um, it wasn't greasy, very, very flavorful. And her mac and cheese, which I had tried at the catering event, I had been thinking about that for the past six months. So I got that as my side. It was delicious. My husband got the pork chop and fried okra, which he also really, really enjoyed and uh, everything has been great. The atmosphere is nice, the music is good, um, the prices are good, and the staff was very, very nice. So we're very happy to have lunch here today and I would recommend it to anyone. Meet in two, meet in three, or if you're a veggie lover, they've got you covered too. No matter if you're dining in or carrying out, Soul Revival Cookhouse offers daily specials that will feed your soul. And if you're having a sweet tooth, grab one of their homemade desserts on your way out. Trust me, you'll be wanting more. We came in on Tuesday. We heard about it from a I heard I heard about it from a mutual friend, and I asked him if he wants to go. We had the hamburger steak that day, and it was really really good. The sides were good, and. Uh, we came back because he likes catfish. He wanted to try it again. And then uh, we're going to be here Wednesday as well because he wants to do meatloaf. The next time you adopt a hobby that you're extremely passionate about, put it to the test. And who knows, maybe you too can have a restaurant or a business. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Kitchen 334. I'm Isis Henley, and I'll see you next time.